I'm Kat, I work in the Scottish Government as the Parliament Secretary's Office Manager and I'm dyslexic. On a day-to-day -day basis, I will make sure the Parliament Secretary um, has everything that she needs for that day. I will ensure that people in the office are speaking with each other, um, depending on who is leading on what. I'll be arranging events and visits to places, and that's sometimes within the Scottish Government, sometimes it's external, and um, we're going to places within Scotland. Sometimes it could be even further afield, depending on what's going on. So there's a real array of things that happen. Um, so each day is never the same, which makes it really exciting. So I started working in the Scottish Government um, just last April and I had just recently um, graduated from university and I didn't know at the time what I wanted to do. Um, I just studied drama performance and it was my best friend who actually suggested applying for the Scottish Government and I'm really glad that I did. So the challenges that dyslexia gives me working in the Scottish Government I would say is how my brain retains information um, especially if it's random or isolated information, sometimes my brain has difficulty and a way of storing that. So a way of remembering things um, is that I often jot things down, random little notes to myself that um, probably looking back won't make sense to anybody else, but they're my little random notes that help me. So I think for me, that is definitely one of the challenges, especially working in the Parent Secretary's office and having so much information coming in day in and day out, um, then it's definitely a challenge of trying to organise that within my mind. I would also say another challenge is probably my short-term memory. I'm awful at names and job titles. So that's also something that I often find I need to jot down um, and gets me into kind of a bit of a habit of just trying to memorise them at the start um, to help ensure that I know who is who and what the actual job titles are because my memory can be like a sieve at times. <laughs> um, I do think there are far more benefits of being dyslexic in the Scottish Government and I get to bring a unique way of thinking to the table. I get to show my creative side um, and I think that's something that in my three posts within the Scottish Government they've all celebrated that in terms of I'm always able to speak up about new ideas and bring new ways of working to the table and they've all been really good at embracing that. So I think it's 100% the creative side of things that really does help um, and also I think there is a massive benefit in terms of you being able to challenge things and see things differently in a unique way of other people. Dyslexia has been a massive part of my Scottish Government career right from the very start. From day one I've always been able to voice the fact that I'm dyslexic and I've always been very proud of the fact that I'm dyslexic. People have been um, quite intrigued by it. Some people already have a lot of knowledge by it and others not so much. Um, but people have always been very willing to listen and educate themselves on dyslexia. Something that I actually worked on last year during my first year in the Scottish Government was a dyslexia awareness event. And that came around as me wanting to put on an event for people in my team and um, within the area that I worked at the time to then transform it into something bigger and actually put on for the whole of the Scottish Government. Um, so it was open to everybody, no matter kind of who you were, where you worked, what grade you were. And um, it was a complete full house in the Scottish Government's biggest conference room, which was really cool. So that was something I'd done during Dyslexia Awareness Week last year. And I got a chance to speak about my own story to have Dyslexia Scotland come along, to have some senior civil servants come and speak and also to show what reasonable adjustments we have in place. So it was a whole kind of um, session on showing the awareness behind it, showing what we have in place and how we can also get better at it within the Scottish Government. So that's been really, really cool. That's definitely been one of my career highlights, I think, is standing, speaking about my story of dyslexia and looking out to a full packed conference room, which was something that I never thought I would have had the confidence to do. If somebody had said to me years ago that I would be standing there doing that, I would never have believed them. So that was really cool. And in the summertime of last year, there was a chance to do an internship with the Parliament Secretary. So it was the first time that they had ever done something like this. And there was multiple questions that you had to answer in your application to say why you wanted to be the summer intern. And one of the questions was about your aspirations for your Scottish Government career. And what I had put in was that I wanted to 
do this dyslexia awareness event and I wanted to raise awareness of dyslexia within the Scottish Government and they were absolutely fab at um, helping me do that. So once I was successfully, um, once I was told that I was successful for the internship, they helped put together a tailored plan of what I was going to be doing for the summer. Um, so it was a three week internship that I'd done with them and they put together a tailored plan of what I was going to be doing and they tailored it specifically for what I was interested in to give me a wide range of knowledge that I could then go back and put into my area that I was working in at the time. So this has been a massive thing because actually the people that I've spoken to from all different kind of backgrounds, all different areas of Scottish government have always seen my dyslexia as a positive thing. I've had a lot of really positive um, comments and feedback and people asking for my view on things that normally I would never have the chance to be cited on. Um, so it's nice to see that they see my way of thinking as something which should be celebrated and should be embraced. My favourite thing about my job in the Scottish Government is definitely the variety that it brings. I think it's such a nice place to work in terms of the different career opportunities that you have. You can pretty much change your career and go on to something completely different in your next post that you apply for, which I think is really cool. So I've worked in the Equalities, Human Rights and Third Sector Division to begin with, and then went on to Early Learning and Childcare Directorate. So completely different, but really, really exciting and interesting. And now working for the Permanent Secretary's Office, which again is another completely different ball game, but another really exciting opportunity. So I think having the variety of things, speaking to different people every day, working with a great team does really help. And that's 100% one of my favourite things about working in the Scottish Government. I'd say my least favourite thing about working in Scottish Government is trying to remember everyone's names. <laughs> There's so many different people that you speak to and I'm really good with faces and I can recognise a face and where they were and where I spoke to them. But when it comes to names, I do have a memory like a sieve. So that can sometimes be a bit of a struggle when people then expect you to know other people's names straight away. Um, yeah, it can be a bit of a, a downfall. Um, so I'd say that's probably my least favourite thing. So the advice that I would give to my younger self would definitely be to believe in myself a lot earlier than what I probably have done. It would be to tell little cat to actually look into what dyslexia is and understand how my brain works, what my strengths are and what my challenges are um, and not ignore it for so long. So realise actually that it's not a bad thing. I shouldn't look at it as a negative thing. And now I've finally got to a point in my life where I see it as a really positive thing and I'm really proud to be dyslexic. But I wish I'd got to that point a lot sooner than I had now. Say my biggest inspiration in life is definitely my mum. And it sounds a bit cliche, but she's always been that kind of person who has always been my number one fan, no matter what I do in life. She's always cheered me on and helped me to believe in myself and just given me the determination that I have today. So she is without a doubt my biggest inspiration because she's never doubted me once. And whenever I do something, she's always the first one there to cheer me on. I'd say tools that help me do my job are definitely my colourful stationery. I've always had, um, as you can see, very sparkly, loud stationery with multicoloured kind of pages inside. And I think this is definitely a big massive help within retaining information. And when I can write it down and see it in a colourful background, then it actually helps to make more sense to me. And I've always been very proud of these little notepads. Um, I've, during my parents' second internship last year, I sat at a table um, with all the most senior civil servants in Scotland during a team meeting and pulled out the notepads and proudly sat and wrote in the notepads while everybody else had laptops and nice leather bound notepads. So I think that point, you know, for me is that you should never change who you are. Um, you should always embrace all the things, no matter what tools they are, whether they're a multicoloured cat notepad <laughs> or, you know, whatever tool it is that helps you, you shouldn't change for anyone, no matter who you are. I say other things that help me in the job are definitely my orange overlays, whether that's for paper, um, reading and on my emails as well. So often I'll send out emails that can be completely orange in colour 
And sometimes I'll have people that'll come back, you know, asking me questions as to why it's orange. Um, and once you explain about your dyslexia, um, and I'll say this actually helps me to retain information a lot better. People are really understanding of it. And I find that um, people will actually send me emails sometimes in orange first, which is really cool. So that's been really nice to actually have people doing that as well. So it just shows the support that people do have for you. So I think sometimes it's the self-doubt that can be the biggest downfall of dyslexia and doubting yourself thinking even when you do have great opportunities like when I've done the Permsec internship and been appointed as a young person on the corporate board you do have an aspect of you which is always kind of doubting you a little thing sitting on your shoulder basically saying that you shouldn't be there but I think that's when the support from other people comes in so so important because they actually have the ability to kind of put that self-doubt to, to rest and show you that you should be there, that you're valued just as much as anybody else around the table. And I think that's something that is absolutely great, the amount of support that I've had through the Scottish Government and have been able to, when I do get that little self-doubt creeping back up on me, I always have people around me that will help knock it down without even realising sometimes that they, they do it and they do such a great job with it.